I got a decent mark right under me right now. There we go. This might be better. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edit. So in today's video, I am obviously out on the hard water once again. Uh, we have been getting a ton of love and support from our last video. And if you watch Tuesday's video, I am filming out on that same exact lake and right away I am going to apologize for the wind. Hopefully our microphone is cutting out most of it, but it is extremely windy out here. But I am fishing on the same exact lake that Brandon and I filmed on on Tuesday, uh, except for I am not with Brandon. Today I am doing my annual once a year fishing trip with our good friend Cody Solberg. Hey guys. Over at Tai Wee. Hopefully and it's more than one one this well one hopefully more than one <laughs> yeah. but usually once a year he always comes up here to this lake and we always fish at early ice uh, and it's always a great time so we're really hoping today is well a good time he always out, he always out fishes me maybe not time. today i don't know we'll see but the goal if you guys again watch tuesday's video obviously uh, i caught a really really big crappie and i know there are more in this lake so today i'm pretty much strictly going to be targeting giant crappie so i got the gopro on and basically got the live scope here i guess i could show you real quick live scope got everything all ready to go going to be turning on the gopro and basically today's video is just going to consist of a lot of hook sets hopefully a lot of crappies and a lot of good times. So enough talking, gonna get the rod, get the live scope. I'm going to head to the holes, and see if we can catch some scrappies. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, as you can tell, I am holding in my hand, not a chisel. I have our, uh, our drill here with my Milwaukee on it because this ice is pretty thick. We're probably dealing with right now on this pressure ridge here, uh, four, maybe five inches on some parts. And then I haven't drilled over here yet on this clear stuff, but I would imagine it's probably over three inches. Check here quick. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're dealing with. Probably a good three, three and a half inches. And that stuff is obviously gonna be the best. So I guess I'm gonna just pop a few holes here quick and see if we can locate these crappies. Cody's already been catching fish, so it makes me want to uh, get started here. <sighs> All right, so what I'm using today for a setup is I'm using a 29 inch ultralight rod from Frostbite and I'm using a tungsten jig here, just plastic. I'm not sure exactly what kind that is, but this is tiny little plastic. And for the reel, Gonna be using a PC Fun Viper X. That's the 500 series. Been using this reel for the last, I don't know, well, the last little part of ice fishing last year, and then so far this year, and it has been doing extremely well. For the price of this reel, you guys just aren't gonna find anything that's gonna match it. Uh, so, really, really fantastic for the money. If you guys want to check it out, link will be in our description. If you use code NBEdits18, you guys can save yourself 18% off on everything on their website if you just use it at the checkout. So cool reel, definitely worth checking out if you guys are looking for a new reel that isn't going to break the bank but is definitely going to do everything you want it to do out on the ice. So that being said, I'm going to drop down. Let's see if I can catch some crappies here. Oh God. Well, it wasn't giant, but first crappie of the day. Decent one. Not a giant, but decent little crappie. Came up and just smoked it. I could see him coming in from the right-hand side, and he uh, definitely spent 
didn't spend too much time coming in and just hitting it right away. Who is calling me at this time? John Lehman. Hello. What's he doing? Fishing. Catch anything? Uh, a couple crappies. Yeah, my lake was frozen and it was pretty much lights out. Well, we love that. All right, well, I just want to see what you're doing. Oh, yeah? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> All right, see ya. Actually, do guys. Oh, yeah, there are fish here. Oh, yeah. I got a decent mark right under me right now. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of a fish right there. There we go. This might be better. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. How big is yours? Not as big as yours. <laughs> That is a nice fish. There we go. That's probably a nice 12 incher all day. <laughs> I couldn't find any fish like at all so far. And then Cody's like, oh, there's fish here coming this hole. Oh, sure. First drop. Catch a bigger crappie than he has all day so far. Well, you know, what are you going to do? Probably going to grab a few pictures of this fish. We do have, if I come over here, we do have this netting system here. As you can see, if I unwrap it here, put this into the hole and uh, put the fish in the net. They stay in the water, they stay healthy. So we're probably just going to keep a few for some picture wise and then uh, release it later in the video here. Here it comes one. That one's better. Maybe. Hit it hard. A little bit better. Not as big as that one, but that's a nice, nice crappie for sure. I'm getting a lot of marks that are coming up on the bottom here and uh, they want nothing to do with this jig but like this one was suspended and that one came up and uh, hit right away so that's pretty cool there's a couple marks down there we're just going to keep on sorting through trying to get some bigger ones but this is a good step in the right direction well it is now 12 o'clock and the fishing has completely died down it has been a struggle to actually get a bite here. Cody and I both, even with the live scope, as great of a tool as it is, it's only going to locate the fish. It's not going to get them to bite, and that's stuff we've been proven. We've been seeing tons and tons of schools of fish moving all over the place, but just haven't been able to connect with any of them. Big part of it, though, is we've been seeing pike like all over the place swimming through, and uh, I think these crappies are just frantically moving all over the place, and they're really not looking to feed. Plus, it is noon, which sucks. Go over here, let's see, freaking got joined. Well, we got Cody still. We got Brandon. What's up? He ended up joining us on his lunch break. I just had to come out and drop one line. I got the definitely. Go to tire for some ice fishing. Oh yeah. Hey, it's actually not bad out here. I won't lie. It's actually pretty <laughs> decent out. All right, well, I'm not catching anything. I gotta go pick up the guys some food. Us? Us? I mean, maybe. Wow, what a nice guy. He's going to pick I us food. Pick it up and there's another one not down there. <laughs> yeah, so just wanted to pick up the big camera, tell you guys kind of what's going on. We have those two bigger oh, crappies or decent oh. crappies in the net unit. Uh, over there in the hole uh, probably show you guys that in a little bit wind is still whipping it is freezing cold and uh, yeah we're just gonna grind it out and see if we can catch more crappies okay guys so it has been an absolute struggle to say the least Cody on the other hand was actually clapping fish I don't know what the heck my problem was but I cannot seem to catch crappies so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to be switching lakes um, we do know of a few other lakes that should have safe ice. We are gonna have to get out there and check them out But the lake that we do want to try I've never fished before actually and I heard there's some nice crappies in there So we're probably gonna pick up all of our stuff here head to that lake and I'll continue filming but before we go We got some fish to release that big one and then one of Cody's and one other one that I caught Kept them in there grab some photos this thing's actually pretty handy for keeping fish alive. Got one. Got the bigger one. And we got one other. <laughs> Nothing too big. You can tell all these two smaller ones if I pick them up here. I don't know. These are probably, this one maybe nine, ten. This one maybe, well, 
I don't know, I can't judge, but they're not that big. But these were some of the nicer ones of the day. And then we got that very first one, biggest one of the day for us. Probably like, I don't know, 12 inch or 13 inch or something like that. Pretty nice crappie. Wish we could have caught more of those, but like I said, it's just been kind of a struggle. The schools have been moving around so quickly. There's been a lot of pike out in this area, so I think that's playing a big role in it, but decent one. Hopefully we can catch a few of these at that other lake. You never know, it's hard to say. Never been there, but we're gonna pack up our, all of our stuff, drive to the lake, and I will catch you guys when we get there. Made it to the second body of water, and it is locked. So that is definitely what we like to see. This lake is a lot smaller than the first lake we started on this morning. As you can tell, Cody's out here, chiseling. How much ice do you think we got out here? Two and a half, three inches. Oh, plenty. Yeah. As you can tell, do a little pan of the lake. That's it, that's, that's the entire lake. This thing is under 20 acres, so quite small. Like I said, there's no map, there's no really research or anything on this lake, but it's frozen and I've heard there's crappies. So we're going to kind of just go out. We both got live scope units, so I mean, how hard can it actually be to find fish, right? I'm just gonna follow Cody here. I got all the equipment. He's spudding in front of us here. This is super, super clear, dark black ice. Some of the best stuff that you can find around. And yeah, once we get to the spot, we're gonna chisel some holes. And hopefully on this lake, I can start catching some crappies. There we go. First fish on the lake. What do we got? A small crappie, but it is first crappie on this lake. First crappie in a while for me, holy cow. So far what we've noticed being out here on this new body of water is that these fish are really suspended. Like that fish came into frame at uh, 10 feet under the ice. So they're pretty much right under us and our problem right now is that the ice is so thin that pretty much anywhere we walk or chisel or do anything they are just scattering around so kind of what we've had to do is just sit in the same spot and kind of wait for them to come to us as boring as that is especially with live scope because i could put it into forward mode right now and find fish and go on top of them but they'll move by the time i get there so kind of pointless we're just kind of fishing a deeper hole and waiting for them to come to us and that's the first crappie for me we're probably not going to fish too much longer probably another uh, half an hour or so because cody has some stuff he's got to do but this is good to know that there's crappies in the lake probably will definitely spend some time out here see if i can get on a bite There we go. A little better, but pretty much the same size as the other one. But a fish is a fish, still fun. Get them down, see if I can get those other ones quick. There's one right under me. Come on, don't leave. I'm coming back for you, don't worry. Wow. That one hit it. <laughs> what the heck? So there seems to be an abundance of crappie, just nothing of the size we're looking for yet. But I mean, for the first time out, at least we're catching fish. That's always a positive. And it is extremely early ice, so just getting out and catching any fish really is a success. Well, unfortunately, it is that time of the video where we are packing up and going to be heading home. Beautiful night out tonight, wish we could really stay, but honestly, the fishing has been just extremely, extremely slow today. I don't know if it was just because we had no cloud coverage and the sun was really high today, or what the heck, I don't know, because it was a warm front, but what do I know? So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but it's always a good day when you can get out on early ice, especially spending it with some good friends and company and we did catch fish. It's not like we didn't catch fish. Uh, you can't go into it every single time expecting a giant fish because otherwise you're pretty much, you're always gonna be sad and upset. But 
it was still fun hopefully you guys still enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up make sure to go check out cody's channel i'll link that down below make sure you guys are subscribed if you love ice fishing because like i said in the beginning of the video that's literally all we do we are huge ice grinders as the weather starts to cooperate a little bit more and more of our lakes start to freeze you can expect a ton of walleye fishing crappie fishing on some of our other better lakes now like right now this lake is 12 acres i believe so we're going to be fishing a lot of smaller bodies of water that we normally would never hit uh, but once it starts to get colder and those bigger lakes start to freeze the fishing is going to get damn good so make sure you guys stay tuned for that we are going to pack up get the heck out of here drive home and i will catch you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits